it was a perennial problem, how to get your music heard, you know, you got your band together, you got it pretty tight, some of the songs are sounding good, how to get it out there, how to get gigs, how to get yourself uh, on the, written about the internet maybe, or, or how to uh, get played the radio, uh, I wouldn't even bother with TV, TV's like a problem in this country for music. Uh, so how, how do you get, propagate your music out there? It's, it's, a, it's a lot easier when I live in Manchester. It's a very, it's a big media city. There's a lot of things going on there. A lot of venues, very plugged into the uh, music and media mainstream. Exeter's a cool little town, but it's, it's on this, it's on the side of things. And I imagine you feel slightly cut off there. It's a bit more difficult to get yourself heard. It's not a nearby kind of circuit or venues. Maybe there is. I want to find this kind of thing out. Yeah, this idea of community. I think that's a really strong thing. I think. When you, when you play music in bands, it's quite isolating in a sense because you're playing with three, four, whatever, or one other mate, and you get lost in your own little bubble of the world. Social networking is fantastic, we'll come on social networking at some point because it gives you a worldwide reach. But in a, in a way, you still can't be that old fashioned human contact, can you? So, and that idea that if you're making music, you should be supporting your local scene, it's a very old idea, but it's actually a very important idea. I and mean, can you elaborate on that and how? How that will work, I mean, it's not just going to the gig and standing in the corner at the back, is it? I mean, I know for most musicians, apart from those guys at the back, noisy guys at the back. What I would say is, if, in terms of getting your music heard, it's looking out for opportunities like that and, 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 and identifying uh, chances where, you, it's, you know, it's something different. It's not just about sending, you know, putting stuff on SoundCloud, that's great. It's not just about social media. It's also making sure that you're aware of what's happening um, as, as much as possible. So whether it's whether it's being aware of what John's doing at the cabin, or whether it's sort of being, <laughs> being aware of what something like Bombfest is doing on a, on a national basis. Yes, but I mean it's important to be a hustler, isn't it? I mean it's a lot easier now with the internet to do that as well, isn't it? It's not. It's it's easier, but, but that creates more competition because it's easier for everyone. Yeah, but you have to be the, the biggest hustler. You exactly. Keep going, going, yes. going. I mean, yes. it's like. Yeah. It's, it's like, you know, three hours rehearsing, eight hours on the internet. I mean, that's, that's the reality of it. It's not, music's not a charity, is it? It's not, not everybody's going to get a space, not everybody's going to get a career out of this, you know. So you've got to keep pushing and pushing and pushing, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I, I, you know, talking from my son's perspective, I've got an 18-year-old son who lives in the middle of rural Somerset. He's doing uh, music production at, at DBS in Bristol. Um, I just keep saying to him, just go out, just get out. You, you know, get your music out there, whether it's via SoundCloud, SoundCloud or um, whether it's on his own Facebook page or whatever. But also, uh, you know, as John says, go to lots of gigs and, and just be there. Um, and be there and ready for an opportunity. He turns up at DJ nights and DJs, you know, the DJs are renowned for not turning up. Um, and he, he, he'll step forward. He's always got his music with him. He'll step forward and he'll, he'll put himself into a slot.